Hello friends, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. My name is Darlin C. Today we want to learn how to use calculator to solve questions involving special angles. Now mostly in examination you are given a question of this nature and you are asked to solve this without using calculator. Mostly the angles are not given. So today we want to teach you how you can use your Casio FX 991EX Plus calculator to solve questions like this. Now, mostly this question you must solve without using calculator. But a lot of times the angles are not given. Okay, you must know that sine 0 is equal to 0 and then cos 0 is equal to 1. So, how can we help the students have these at their fingertips? Okay, so when you enter into the examination room, now you remember the special angles we have 0, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees. Okay, and then the, the main three trick ratios for core math or general mathematics, we are talking about sin theta, cos theta, and then tan theta. So you draw a table like this, and then you have 0, 30, 45, 60, and then 90 degrees. So what is sine 0 degrees? To do that is quite simple. Simply enter sine there, and then you put this 0, okay, here. So when I click on 0, then you enter that is equal to sine. That means sine 0 is 0. So we have it here. How do we also know sine 30? Simply move the cursor, okay, to the left-hand side, and then remove the 0, and replace the 0 with 30. Okay, so let's enter 30. And then you hit the equal sign button. So sine sin 30 is equal to 1 over 2. Correct. And then we come to sine 45. The same way, you just move the left arrow, okay? And then you delete the 30. And then you replace the 30 with 45. So 45. So sine 45, with the help of the equal sign, we are having root 2 over 2. So I have it here. And then we come to sine 60. So once again, you remove by clicking the left arrow key. You can easily edit by removing the 45 and then replacing that with 60. And then you hit the equal sign button. That is root 3 over 2. So we have it here. And what the last for the sign, you remove the 90 and then you, re you remove the 60 and then replace that with 90. Okay, so sine 90 is equal to 1. And this is very easy, especially when you need to know this offhead for um, mathematics exams. When you know how to use your calculator, you can easily get these values. Okay, so we are done with the sign. Let's go to the course. So you just enter course. And then we are looking at cost, cost zero. What will it be? So you just click zero there. And then with the help of the equal sign. So cost zero is equal to one. Then we can now go for cost 30. Okay. So using the right arrow key. Okay. You can edit your work. And then cost 30 is equal to. We are having root 3 over 2. Very simple. And then the same left arrow key to edit our work. Okay, so I want to delete the 30 and then replace that by 45. So, cos 45 is equal to, we have root 2 over 2. Okay, so that is root 2 over 2 here. And then the next one, we have to change to 60. The same left arrow keys we can delete. And then we have um, cos 60. And the answer is simply 1 over 2. And then the final one for the cos is 90 and this is a very popular saying cos 90 and we all know cos 90 is equal to zero okay so that is it very easy and so 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 quick and then the last one for tan the same thing simply click on tan and then for tan zero you put zero there now tan zero is zero then let's go for tan 30 okay so you put 30 there and you click the equal sign button um, cost 
tan 30 is root 3 over 2. That is for tan 30. And then we move on to tan 45. Very easy. So tan 45, and that is giving us 1. And then we add it once again, and now we put tan 60 there. So tan 60, we are having root 3. Now for tan 90, I have undefined because if you click on tan 90, you are not going to get any answer. So that is the end of this. But let's come back typically for a question. Now let's say I have a question like this. Solve sine 30 plus cos 45 divided by tan 30. This I have in examination. And the question says, leaving your answer in fraction. Quickly, if this is in objectives, you can just enter and you get your answer, okay? But if you are working on a written paper, then you need to change the sign 30, okay, into 1 over 2. And then cos 45, when you change that, you are getting root 2 over 2. And then tan 60, you know it's root 3. So in written, you need to replace these um, trig ratios with their actual values. But if this is objectives, then you know um, sine 30 degrees plus cos 45 divided by tan 60. This is fraction. And to do that, you need to click the fraction button. Then you enter this. So we have sine 30. So sine. Then I place 30 there. Close my brackets. Then plus cos 45. So it hits the cos. And then 45. You close the bracket as well. Then you move the down arrow key. And then you enter tan. Okay. So tan 60. That is 6, 0. Okay. Then you close your bracket. You hit the equal sign button. Bang. You are getting this. And this is so, so cool and very easy. Thank you so much. If you are here to subscribe, please do so. Good day and enjoy yourself. My name is Darling Fee. Bye-bye.